Hi everybody, I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. And we are the, the Edel Campers. Campers. We're here today at Sunshine Key. We can show you a review right above. Just click on that link, but not until you're done watching this video. <laughs> and in today's video, we're going to show you some activities in the campground and around the area. So stay tuned. One of the things that I really like about Sunshine Key is that they have a farmer's market <clears throat> 9 to 1 on Fridays where you can shop their local art, jewelry, fresh made goods, seafood, and more. Let's take a look around. Yeah, you can get cooked seafood or get some seafood to take home like stone crabs and fresh shrimp. We bought fresh shrimp from the market and made with coconut. These are beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. I try. I have sometimes I, it's better than drinking. But I like drinking better. Two myths that are drinking and doing it at the same time. That's why they're kind of cattywampus. Good. Makes them perfect. How oh, pretty. There you go. Oh, um, that's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, it just really, wow, look at that. It changes, us up, changes them up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Should I get the fish or the starfish? Local homemade bread. Mm. And we have the Turkish truck again with cool Turkish items. Dresses, towels, pants and shirts. And some Turkish towels. We have plenty here. This might be the year. <laughs> I like that top Looking into getting oh, some Turkish pants. Nice vegetable stand, lots of fruits, veggies. Yummy. What do we want today? So again, you said this ma made out of ceramic, right? Ceramic, yeah. And, and holds... one of my best sellers, any bottle. This is wine, it, we call it wine holder. But okay. even this uh, whiskey, this is a thick bottle. This is a little taste of Mexico in paradise. You can't get any better than this. A little taco stand, live music, and happy hour. Come join us at Sunshine Key. <laughs> and I got the hot sauce. Oh, yeah, baby. Right here, Sunshine Key, they have their own small little beach where you can go uh, play on the water. It's from my understanding, there's lots of cool things to do. We go exploring under the bridge and add a little further down the beach. So hi there, peeps. We're just right here on the little beach front and we are exploring a little of Ohio Key. We have people fishing. It almost looks like they're standing on the water tide is low. They're out on the little sandbar right next to the ship. Makes for a cool pick though. It's in a box in the water. Maybe it has some treasure in it. Anyone never knows. Always find cool things out here. It looks like this boat's been washed up on shore for a very long time. However, there's still gas in the uh, tank. Can imagine that's still good. There are two rows, one on each side, and these tanks are made to store gas. Just try to make them to the States. They have kayakers and paddle boarders, big boats, small boats, and people fishing on a little bar. It looks like they're standing on a ladder. Very shallow out there today. It's kind of interesting. It looks like a mushroom on a piece of driftwood. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Just a tad bit soft. Not... Actually, it's pretty hard. It'd be pretty neat to make something cool out of. Look 
should probably plunge through the bushes. I'm not sure if I want to or not. I think we're going to stop here. I'm going to turn around and go back. to the other side of the bridge. Water's pretty clear today, but not very deep. Feels good. Check out all the people behind me. Paddle boating, kayaking, canoeing, having a lot of water fun. It's a beautiful day. See, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small little boaters here or watercraft players if you look past the seagrass you can see a tiki hut that has a thatched roof really cool place to hang out you can also see a few of the rigs up against the gulf that overlook this beautiful water and you can't get much better than these palm trees so apparently the cuban boat that landed on the beach just a few minutes away from here had 20 Cubans on it. Isn't this water just gorgeous? Fred found the no-name pub. Did you know it's the oldest bar, Fred? Built in 1936. Can't find parking in the front. Check the back. There's a little bit more back here. And we even fit. The world's famous pizza. Mmm, lots of yummy stuff to eat here. They say their pizza's world famous. <laughs> there you go. Because you're sitting in the waiting area. Do you know what's really cool though? They had a brothel here for a few years. I heard they had to close it. Why would they ever close a brothel? Because the men looked better than the, uh, the women. Ah. Uh. We're under a thatch covered patio and they have a little area outside to walk around and we're waiting for our pizza to come in. And it's still not too bad. It's very breezy. Feels mm -hmm. good. Yeah. They're pretty cool. So No Name even has their own boat. A little tiny. It's not the size. It's the motion of the ocean. <laughs> a beautiful hedge a um, West Indian jasmine and does well in warm weather climate these are beautiful flowers that's what I love about here there's something blooming year-round sneak peek of the backyard right off the patio our appetizer is some onion rings my favorite there are no name onion rings no name onion rings See? no name on them I think they have your name on them. How are they? We're lucky. You should eat those. So they say this is the best pizza in the world. Might be world famous, but the oldest brothel slash grocery store slash bait tackle store slash restaurant slash pub in Big Pine Key. So they've had plenty of practice for the pizza, right? Well, it's the only one too, but they don't mention it. So the world famous pizza story goes that two men from Italy came here and was baking this pizza and before they left they wrote the recipe on the wall so they would always have it here and it is delicious. It's like you put your name on the dollar bill and you put it in anywhere you want in this room. So we actually saved room for meeting all that pizza and got a little bit of key lime pie. The pizza was good. <laughs> it's really good. Let's see how this key lime pie is. I'm sure this is nasty. I don't know. Everything here has been really delicious. They said they, they, said they make it here every day. In the house. Mm. Mm. Needs more sugar. <laughs> I'm done. Is that tart or sweet? Yes. Fred's finally spotted a little key deer. And it's not dark outside. Look how tiny. We heard they were smaller, but man, I don't want to get too close. Don't want to run him out in the road. There's cars coming, but he's precious. Hi there. Hi. I know I don't have any food for you. Are you going to come say hi to me? Are you going to say hi to my camera? Is it something to eat? 
I turned. And there was another little deer. You're gonna cross the road, be careful. Give me one little one. My friend's still over here. And that, my friends are the key deer or the Florida Keys. The only change that we have noticed since we've been here last was that they have added a dog park. Now it's a little tiny dog park. I do believe if you look at our old video, this dog park is sitting on Barracuda Lane, which is where the old taco truck used to permanently reside here when we did our tour last time. So out of all the pools we ever go to, I swear, Sunshine Key is the most crowded. Even more crowded than Fiesta Key. What a nice place to cool off at. I said, no, not a real alcoholic. You got white claw. That's me. Suntan lotion. Suntan lotion. Yeah. No, she asked me what she was signing. I said, you're signing, you're going to sign not sign your life, life away. Mary, sign my life away for me. Captain Dan. Captain Dan, not to be confused with Lieutenant Dan. Right. I was going to ask. Ooh, from uh, Finding Nemo. Pelicans are good fishermen, too. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah, Penguin. Penguin. Yeah. Typically, Six cents. typically, I go out by the Hino Honda Bridge and watch there on the way back. Six cents. And come back in here. You guys ever see Portuguese man of war? No. Like Just in books. There is, is that one right like there. Unbelievable. There's a tentacle hanging behind him, straight back. Howdy, neighbors. Uh, we're headed out there to where the sun shines, but not for long. We're going to go up close and get us a sunset within touching distance. We don't actually kill stone crab. When you harvest a stone crab, you take one leg. And they regenerate, right? Yeah, and they regenerate the leg. So originally that was a railroad. Uh, that was built in 1912, finished in 1918. Labor Day hurricane 1935 took it out. Yes, that is Fred. He's out here on the old bridge. Uh, like I say, friends of mine do come out and decorate it for Christmas. But yeah, they had to make it suitable for walking. You can see all the I-beams underneath it they're painted blue. Mm -hmm. They had to put each one of those in there individually. Before the sunset, here in the Keys on the Atlantic Ocean, with my darling. Am I the only crazy person out there? No, well, now that we're counting, yeah, you're it. So what's it like here in August? It just bumped into Hot. the season. No wind. No wind? No wind. It's flat calm. We call it Lake Atlantic. It's over. I missed it. It's over. Oh my I God. missed it. That is beautiful. Good. Yeah, sit down here and watch the sunset. And you know, you're sick. You climb up on the roof. Wow. Sunset cruise. Check out our dog. There you go. Right there. Got her in your feet. We're going out for the on the surface. Oh, pretty. There it goes. I guess. So they come well, it's pointed that way. <laughs> Shark! Wow! Oh my god, how beautiful! Oh my gosh, you're so amazing! Thank you. We make it bake. Make it bake? That's correct. How do you specially float in? Better have emergency bake. Better everywhere. Well, I guess they you are know. everywhere. I thought they were going right in front of us. Oh, Will you bake it? Off. I do. Just chasing something around. You work for Oh, nice. You got it too. What's Flipper's wife say when she has a headache? Look at that guy, still there clean your fish. That's why I don't catch him on. He's got one pelican. Got <laughs> one pelican? Yeah, he started off, he had a dozen pelicans. <laughs> that was two nights ago. No, there was, there was a guy there when we left. All right. Time for the Sunshine Key Cellular Service Report. Well, they're doing a lot better this year than they were last year. T-Mobile is up to 115 megabits per second down and 3.05 up. So that's not bad, considering you're on the middle of an island. 
out in the ocean, the Gulf. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Verizon in second place at 9.93, upload at 0 .08, a little better than last year, but not much. And of course, AT&T pulling in the rear, but doing pretty decent at uh, 3.71 with an upload of 0.74. Well, time to get back out in the sun. We'll see you next time. Got lots of adventures here.